video two, uh, piggybacking off the, the first video where we talk about how to get started with Salesforce, we just drew up a uh, fake scenario here uh, of a business of like a business problem that we're trying to solve with Salesforce. So we're not approaching uh, getting started with Salesforce is how do we use Salesforce and all of its features? We're coming in with one specific problem, which is emailed customer support tickets. Uh, and we're just going to kind of map this out. So the problem we're trying to solve here is customer support tickets currently get emailed to an email alias and our five agents work out of the email alias. We have lack of visibility to who is handling what ticket, overall volume, and which customers are causing the most problems. Uh, the people involved in this process that we're trying to solve are five support agents, the product manager and CEO or executives. Uh, the technology we're going to target to use is Salesforce sales or service cloud uh, and email. And the process is uh, acceptance, triage and working of customer support tickets that are submitted through email on website. So this is specifically we're starting with email tickets uh, and we want a, a place to triage these that's centered, that's a specific problem that we're trying to solve. Uh, one important thing is, is like, if you're going to go uh, consider buying Salesforce and you want to speak to a sales rep, I recommend coming to them with something like this, right? They're going to be able to get a solutions engineer that's going to walk you through like a sample uh, implementation. I'm also going to be showing that in video three, but uh, the more you come uh, to your vendor, specifically Salesforce with a specific problem like this, um, then they're going to be able to help you um, visualize what the process would look like. So if we come over here to our flow chart, I've just mapped out a very simple process of what we hope uh, this to look like. So customer support ticket comes through email, the ticket gets created in CRM and the team receives an email alert. Uh, the support agent claims the ticket. And then after that, the support agent decides whether uh, it's a valid ticket or it's not. If it's not a valid ticket, uh, they respond to the inquiry and then quote unquote, close it out. Uh, if it is a valid inquiry, then they take the appropriate steps to service the ticket and, and then they categorize it and close it out. Um, so the, the final result of this process is you get reportable case metrics, time to close case type case volume. Uh, you can start getting down to items like cost per case, right? You can take the, the cost of headcount for your service department. Uh, you know, once you have your count of cases and how long it takes you to close a case, you can start coming up with a formula for, you know, what, what the cost of your service department looks like or cost per case. Um, and then you'll be able to also report on this in line with customers, right? Which customers are uh, submitting the most cases? What in general, what is like the most popular uh, case you're getting about your product? Uh, is that something that needs to get bumped up to the product team? Um, for them to work on. There's endless, endless benefits to, to solving this problem. But the first step is giving your reps a clear process on how to handle the really specific problem of closing out email tickets. Um, a note here, and this is like the type of stuff that Salesforce will walk you through when you have a plan like this. Uh, Salesforce automatically logs tickets that are emailed in against the database, right? So if uh, like a prerequisite for us getting started with this project would be a customer list and then a contact list. So as long as you can put together a customer list, let's say you're using QuickBooks or another ERP system, you can just export your customer list and your contact list and import that into Salesforce. That's step one. Uh, and then you just have to do some light customizations to a really specific part of Salesforce to get started here. But it's important to map this out because whoever you're working with is going to uh, start letting you know like what the prerequisites are, right? So right here, we've identified one prerequisite. Uh, and then in video three, we're going to specifically map out our service process, which is highlighted by this uh, ticket here and some of these portions. And then in our uh, video after that, we're actually going to implement the solution.